Hello, this is Laptop Media, and today, we will show you how to open the MSI Sword 15 and what's inside of it. To take this device apart, you need to undo 13 Phillips head screws, one of which is hidden beneath the factory seal sticker. After that, pry the bottom panel with a plastic tool, starting from the front. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. Inside, we see a battery with a 53.5 watt hours capacity. It lasted us for more than 6 hours and a half of web browsing, or 4 hours and a half of video playback. It is easy to remove, as it's held in place by only three Phillips head screws. In terms of memory, you get two SOTOM slots, for a maximum supported capacity of 64GB in dual channel. As for the storage, there is one M.2 PCIe X4 slot on the RTX 3050 and 3050 Ti versions. In addition, you get a 2.5-inch SATA drive bay with an included connector. Here, the cooling comprises a total of four heat pipes. Two of them are dedicated to the CPU, while the other two are meant for the graphics card. Thankfully, both the VRMs and the graphics memory are being cooled. If you'd like to see more disassembly videos of the latest notebooks we would highly appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.